So just heading out from um, a group program that we do for one of the companies here in PJ. Um, I get to meet them once every two weeks and we just run through a quick 30 minute workout session with their staff and it's just really always fun to have people to show up after a long day at work and to kind of like um, have a bit of a stress relief at the end of the day before they head home while they kind of wait for the traffic to clear. Um, yeah, so that's been great. So just finished with these guys here while I load my car. And after this, I am heading, yikes. Heading off to Bangsar for a boot camp. Right now I'm in this ridiculous traffic jam. This is one of the reasons. I swear this is one of the reasons I gave up my corporate life to do fitness and have a bit more time, um, a bit more control of your time. Um, but yeah, this is crazy. Heading over to boot camp. Um, it's ways that made me choose this route. Um, and sometimes I really think that Waze messes with you um, and brings you to the weirdest places. Like this is a residential area and I feel bad for the people who live here who are like stuck right in front of their own homes. There's one thing that I really, really dislike and that is to be stuck in a traffic jam. And to be honest, no one, no one ever likes to be stuck in a traffic jam. But what really annoys me and bothers me about traffic jams is that it is just such a waste of time. In today's day and age where time is really, really important and it's such a valuable resource. Time is something that once you give it away or once it's wasted, you can never get it back. Money can't buy time, you can't even reverse time. So it bothers me because I get complaints from people, um, organizations, people who work 9 to 5, who say that they don't have the time to work out, they don't have the time to home cook meals for their kids and for their families. It's because sometimes it's sad that they're stuck for hours each day in traffic jams. And it's... What can we do? I think it would be great if more organizations started to allow their staff flexible hours or a bit more freedom to maybe work from home. I guess it depends what your role in your company is. But there are a lot of companies out there with plenty of room for improvement to allow your staff, your employees to come in early and to leave earlier as long as they get their work done or to incentivize or to give them some sort of reward for finishing your work on time. When I used to work in, a, in, 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 my, in an IT company before, my bosses would actually um, not like it if they saw someone working late. If they saw me working at 9 p.m. in the office, which happens quite often, they'll be like, what are you doing here? The fact that you're sitting in the office at 9, 10 p.m. actually, in my opinion, shows that you didn't manage your time well. Um, or you're not working well with the resources that you have or maybe you're not a team player in the office um, Maybe you're, you're, you're like me just wanting to do everything by yourself um, But yeah, so what I really want to um, Highlight is that it's sad the amount of hours We waste if you calculated the amount of hours you've been stuck in the traffic jam in a year It would be crazy um, We say we don't have time to work out, we say we don't have time to eat healthy and just being able to avoid a traffic jam 
is huge because you now have half an hour you now have an hour back in your time in your daily schedule to be able to work out or to just spend more time with your kids um, or get more sleep even right so traffic jams it makes me really happy to see um, my boot camp almost packed um, with people who get to beat the traffic jam and spend that hour working out instead of being stuck in a traffic jam that's that's great <laughs> Thank you.